Hey, what's going on everyone? Ted Carr here. And today we are going to solve the biggest issue that new entrepreneurs experience. And that is finding out what to actually offer. Every day I get asked this question in the DMs, over email, even on the phone. People are like, Ted, where do I start? And it always comes down to this. It comes down to what to actually offer. Yeah, I mean, before you decide on what to actually offer, you need to decide if owning your own business, if being your own boss, if setting your own schedule, if making as much money as you want from your laptop is for you. But once you've decided that, the next real step where the ball really gets going here is on finding out what to offer, having having an actual product, having an actual service in mind at least for what you're going to sell. Because the number one thing all the top entrepreneurs have in common, the number one thing that all the top business owners have in common is they have something to sell. And the number one thing that all people who aren't making money online have in common is they don't have anything to sell. That's it. It's like you find one common denominator amongst all the people who aren't crushing it online, who aren't even getting any money online at all, is they don't have an offer, they don't have a product. And so people are wondering, should I sell Amazon? Should I should I do a done for you graphic design service? Should I offer a Zoom session, Reiki sessions? Should I offer counseling? Should I offer uh, this or that or the other should I offer ebooks or whatever like nobody knows actually what to actually offer so in this video we're going to make it really clear I'm rolling up my sleeves here and we're going to get really clear on what you can actually offer and by the end of this video you're going to know exactly what to offer and you're going to you're going to realize that no one else on the internet is is talking about this, is making it this clear. Because a lot of people, they, they just want to make things really confusing to sound smart. I'm going to really dumb it down and the truth might hurt here. This is what actually sells. And this is based on having done over a million dollars in sales myself and helping other people make tens of thousands of dollars every month with their own vegan business. So if you're wondering where to start, this video is where to start. You got to get clear on your offer. And as always, if you'd like to speak with me, you can visit course creatorcall.com and if you want a lot more free training afterwards click the link in the description you'll be brought to a, uh, a free training platform where i have tons of free training for you to get your business up and running to get you to that ten thousand dollar a month mark so let's get into it what to actually offer what to actually sell this is where to start the only things you got to sell the only things you can sell are the big three and nothing else the big three the big three you gotta take notes on this by the way because this is like if you don't remember this, you're gonna like wake up tomorrow and be like, oh my God, what should I offer? I'm telling you right now, it's the big three. Nothing else sells. The big three are three different categories of human needs that humans need to fulfill online. So in person, in real life, like in outside of the internet, we fulfill our human needs with with things like water. We have the human need for thirst, right? Or we have a human need for, for water at least. And we quench our thirst with water. There's a human need for food, right? And we experience hunger for that. There's a human need for sleep and rest. We experience fatigue and tiredness at the end of the day for that. There's the human need to detox. And that's why we have the human need. And that's why we have the, the urge to go pee and poo. And we have the need for connection. That's why we like to hang out and hug our friends and family members. Like we have human needs in real life, but those human needs can be met in real life. There are three human needs though that can be met on the internet. And these human needs sell better than anything else because they actually meet human needs. So what are they? What are they? What are they? What are they? And these three human needs, they will forever be human needs. These will continue to sell until the end of time. By getting into one of these three, you're guaranteed to be selling something that's actually proven to sell. And you're not going to be risking people not buying. Like when you offer one of these, people buy every time. I buy every time. You buy every time. I've bought things in all three of these categories and I know you have as well. So get into one of these three categories and start experiencing the benefits. Let's get into the three categories. First category. And by the way, at the end of this video, I'm going to share with you what to do if you feel like you don't fit into any of these three categories. Okay, because I know that's going to be the case for a lot of you. So first category is body related. Anything body related, anything physical body related sells really well on the internet. Things like uh, helping you reach X amount of pounds. So, hey, I'm going to help you get to... I'm going to help you drop, uh, I'm going to help you get down to 150 pounds in the next three months. That'll sell well. Reaching X body fat percentage. Okay, I don't care how much you weigh, but I'm going to get you down to 10% body fat. That sells really well. I'm going to help you lift X amount of weight. I'm going to help you get stronger. Okay? I'm going to help you increase your muscle size by eight inches. You want a bigger bicep? I'll help you increase it by eight inches with my program. Um, I'll help you get faster. You want to run a faster marathon? You want to run a faster 5K? You want to swim faster? I'll help you increase your speed by this many seconds, this many minutes, right? These, these are all... These are all, you know, performance enhancing uh, activities here that also make your body look look great as well. Um, clear your skin from eczema, acne, etc. 
attain a certain flexibility to be able to perform ex pose, like like the, the splits or something, that sells really well. Uh, attain flawless digestion. If you got bloating or gas or heartburn or something, that you can help people attain flawless digestion. That will sell really, really well. Getting off ex addiction. You know, coming off of heroin or nicotine, that's a big one. Get, helping people quit cigarettes, that's a huge one that sells well. Overcoming a mood disorder, that sells really well. And really any any other symptom for that matter, any other symptom you can help people get over, that's going to sell really well. I saw an ad yesterday actually, I should have mentioned it here. I saw an ad yesterday on Instagram. So I, I love looking at ads because it shows what's selling. The ad says, look the best you've ever looked in the next 30 days. And it showed a before and after of a guy, like before but you look like crap and after but you looked really handsome. It was just like, look good in 30 days. Like that was the ad. And I know that sells because everybody wants to look good. So that's the first category. The second category is money related. So helping people save X amount of money per year. Maybe it's with taxes or accounting or something. Helping people earn X amount of money per year. Helping people get a new career. Helping people get a number of new clients per month. Helping people close a, a certain percentage of phone calls. I know I've bought... I've bought programs for this. I've bought programs for, for getting clients. I've bought programs for earning money per year. I've bought programs for saving money per year. So these all sell really well. Getting number of new followers, I've paid to learn how to do that as well. Um, landing X amount of sponsorship deals. We have a gal in our academy who teaches vegans how to get sponsorship deals on, on Instagram. She's crushing it. She's done very, very well for herself with that program. Um, even helping you get featured on like Forbes or NBC or CBC or something, like getting featured to give yourself more credibility. It's money related because it helps you make more sales. Then. Okay, so anything money related, that's obviously a human need because we all have the human need for freedom and money equals freedom. Uh, next category, and the third final category is anything relationship related, okay? This could even be like tickets to a festival, right? Because we get together, go to a festival to connect with other people. So tickets to a festival sell really well. Um, helping you get X amount of dates in a certain period of time with like Tinder or Bumble or something, or, or even just using Facebook dating or whatever. Um, having no divorce, like keeping your marriage together, that sells really well, marriage counseling. Having more sex, helping couples have better and more sex. Finding your soulmate, that'll sell well. Uh, helping people train their dogs. So the dogs can now sit, stay, heal, lay down, shake a paw, etc. Helping people speak a language. Even if you speak English, you can help somebody else, you can help someone else speak English and sell a course on that. Uh, and helping kids, helping parents, help helping parents help the kids stop fighting. That will sell well as well. So now the next question is, hey, if none of these stand out to you, what if, or what if you don't feel confident offering any of these, what do you do? Because I just showed you like the top best sellers of all time. This is it. And what, like I said earlier, you might not like that because you might say, oh, that's it. Like I thought there was more to sell, but it's like, no. Like, I mean, yeah, but they don't sell that well. Like, yeah, you can help people grow tomatoes, but if you don't angle it, and you don't tell people, hey, I'm going to help you save $300 per year by growing your own tomatoes. If you don't have that angle to your tomato growing program, it's not going to sell that well. So these are really just angles. You can teach people almost anything, but as long as you take these angles, they'll sell well. So for example, you could teach people how to do, um, how, to, how to dance. Okay, but what, why would they need to dance? Well, maybe so they dance so that they can lose weight. Or maybe they dance so that they can um, overcome a severe mood disorder, right? They, like, what's the purpose of dancing? It needs to be for something. Same with growing tomatoes. Like, yeah, you can get away with selling, and you can get away with selling just straight up like bottle cap lids or something if your name is Jay-Z or Beyonce because you're super famous. But if you're just a mere mortal like me, you have to actually sell one of these three big categories. But the question is, again, what if none of these stand out to you? What if you don't feel confident offering any of these? Well, here's what you gotta do. You gotta understand that that's normal and you're not special, that's not an excuse. Okay, it's called imposter syndrome and it's a thing. It actually happens to everyone when they first get going with this. So if you're like, oh, I can't do this online thing because none of these relate to me, don't worry. That's very common with most people and they get going with it anyway because of what I'm about to share with you. But just know imposter syndrome is a thing. We feel like we're not worthy. We feel like we're not good enough. We feel like we're not credible. We don't have our qualifications. We feel like there are people out there who are a lot better than us. Why would anyone on earth pay us to teach them this when there's better people far more qualified? So just, that's completely normal. That's just self-talk that's getting in the way of you crushing it with your own business. And nearly everyone experiences that when they're just starting out. So the solution is to get started anyway and let the momentum help you keep going. Okay, because here's the thing. Here's the kicker. Here's how I'm going to debunk this whole like, oh, I don't fit in any of these categories. It's not going to work for me. Here's how I'll debunk it. Once you start finding your groove and you start, make, and you start making sales, you're going to be hooked. And you're not going to want to quit then. So if you were making sales, if you're making good money in any of these categories, would you really think like, well, I'm not good enough to teach you. I'm going to stop. No, you would keep going because you're making sales. So the only reason you're not doing any of these yet is because you haven't made the sales yet. Okay? If, you were, if, you, if you were helping people find their soulmate and they were paying you and you were getting them results, you'd keep helping people find their soulmate. 
The only reason you're not helping people find their soulmate right now is because you haven't done it yet. That's it. It's just because you haven't done it yet. But how do you know if you're able to do it if you never try, right? So it's always the case. People are like, oh, I can't help somebody lose weight. I'm not even my perfect body weight myself. I still need to do more healing myself. This comes up so often. People feel like they're not good enough. But once they start making sales, they're like, oh, I can actually do this. And they forget all that crap talk and they just help, start helping people and they start making more sales. Okay, so it's not a matter of don't know if I'm good enough. It's a matter of you haven't made sales in it yet. Once you start making sales, you're going to be hooked. The other solution is to just learn something brand new for 30 days with the intention of teaching it to other people once you learn it. Okay, And then once you start teaching it, you know you can, you can get other people results with it. So learn something for 30 days. Maybe it's Japanese. Maybe it's learning Thai. Maybe it's learning how to do the splits. Maybe it's learning how to create a recipe book. In fact, you can pick any of these things and learn how to do it in 30 days. Just get the basics at least. And then start teaching it. And then at, once you start teaching it, you know, you will, you'll realize that people are going to ask you for more help and you're going to come up with new ideas to start teaching. You're going to help other people get results. And then you can organize all of your knowledge and then you can sell it then. But yeah, just learn how to make a recipe book, learn how to grow an Instagram page, learn how to eliminate certain health symptoms, like, and then just start teaching it. You don't need crazy results and you don't need testimonials to start teaching something. A great example is that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio, it's called Catch Me If You Can. He pretended to be a freaking teacher and he taught the entire class. And the, the afterwards, when they caught him and they busted him, they're like, hey, how did you teach that class? The way he taught the class is he just, he said he stayed one chapter ahead. He's like, I just stayed a chapter ahead and I taught the chapter prior. So that's exactly what you gotta do online. And think, if you think about it, I remember growing up as a kid, when I learned how to tie my shoe, I taught my friends how to tie their shoe because they didn't know. Because I was one of the first people to learn how to tie the shoes. So I was like, I was teaching all my friends how to tie the shoe because it was really, really like advanced stuff when you were a little kid. I don't know if you ever remember tying your shoe, but I definitely learned, remember learning. Um, and I felt so confident after once I learned, I was like, wow, I can teach other people. And it felt good. I didn't charge them anything, but you know, the, the idea is just to teach, 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 teach until people want to start paying you to help them further. So that's it. That's Vegan Business 101. That's where to start. This is what to sell. I wish somebody had showed me this when I was getting started because I really was just shooting in the dark and just guessing and it was causing a lot of stress for me. But now that you know more or less what to sell, what to offer, it's up to you what you want to do next. If you want to hop on a call with me and talk about your idea, you can head over to coursecreatorcall.com and I can let you know if it's a good idea, let you know if it's a crappy idea. That way you stop wasting time and actually get this up and running. Uh, or if you want more free training, you can see the link in the description for a lot more free training to get the ball rolling. But again, don't wait until you feel like ultra, ultra confident before you start teaching something. Once you start teaching it, you'll, the confidence will grow. The confidence will grow with time. So that's that. Hope you found this video helpful. If you did, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate you. Peace out. Much love. Audio. See you in the next video. And again, tons of free training by the link in the description. And if you want to speak with me, coursecreatorcall.com. All right. Peace. Ciao for now. Bye. Hey, where the TED car? I kick off the head bars. All around the planet, they knowing who I are, who I am. I slam, goddamn, you about to die, man. Don't need no plan. Go into ham. Book a call with my boy Ted Carr. If you want to start or grow your vegan business, everybody want to enlist quick. I'm about to let the people out there witness. Uh. Oh, shit.